To create a symphony feedback report template, start with a blank document that has your organization's branding and add blank pages for a table of contents and the first page of the theme results. On the third page, type some sample text for each code level and a comment. The idea is to format the sample the way you want it to look in the report. Symphony uses Word's Styles feature to format the report, so open the Styles panel and set the sample texts to the styles you want Symphony to use. You can use most any styles, but it's easier to use the heading styles since Symphony selects them by default. For comments, Symphony uses the normal style by default, but if you have a custom style named comment, it will use it instead. It's best to define a comment style so as to differentiate comments from other text in your document. If any of the styles are not exactly as you want them, you can modify them. Now that you know what your codes and comments will look like, you can delete the sample text and in its place create a bookmark named Default. This tells Symphony where to start printing the themes. If you don't define the bookmark, Symphony will automatically output to the end of your template. Now move to page 2. We'll turn it into a table of contents page. First, add a title for the page and format the title the way you want it to look. Word's title style is a good choice. The table of contents is built by Word using its table of contents field, or TOC for short. Word builds the table of contents from the texts in the document that use styles specified in the options dialog. So you want to make sure that only the content you want included as table of contents entries is specified. For this video, we want only top level and second level codes included so we make sure that nothing else is specified. It's important to look through all the styles because Word adds some automatically. You'll find that Word adds them back each time you open the field to edit it. So be sure you always double check that unwanted styles are not included. Next click the Modify button. Here you tell Word what each of the levels in the table of contents should look like. So if your organization has standards for this, or if you don't like the word defaults, you will want to change the settings accordingly. Don't be alarmed if you see what looks like an error. The table of contents field won't have entries until you generate a report. After saving your template, switch to Symphony, open the feedback report form, and navigate to your template file. Symphony opens the template and reads it to see what styles it contains, then maps its selections to the various content entities in your project. Now click the Run button to generate the report. While the report is being generated, it's best to avoid doing anything in Word, even with other files. This is because Symphony is sending a lot of messages to Word, and if Word is doing something else, it will occasionally reject messages from Symphony, and you'll have to run the report again. This concludes the video on creating a feedback report template. For more Symphony videos, please visit ActiveJava.com.